Alright, coming up next, a flyweight matchup between Demetrius Johnson and TJ Dillashaw. So here he is, Tyler Jeffrey Dillashaw, as DC likes to call him, the former two-time UFC Bantamweight champion. Certainly one of the best 135-pound fighters of all time. Yes, and you recognized it right away. Going into the fight against Kevin Durrell, people thought TJ Dillashaw had no chance. He went out there and very early on showed Henry Durrell that he was in with something different. Unbelievable striker. He's very disciplined. He has a great ability to follow a game plan, and it's shown in his rise to become one of two of the best bantamweights the UFC has ever seen. And if you won't say it, I will. Got a full ride to Cal State Fullerton, three-time NCAA qualifier. Hasn't necessarily been a wrestler first in mixed martial arts, but a very good submission game and in terms of the striking, the footwork, and everything else. It's truly a sight to He hasn't had to. Johnny has been able to go out there and beat guys with striking when you said he's a fantastic wrestler. He's a fighter's fighter, and he has a lot to prove as he gets back in the octagon here tonight. All right, so here he is, one of the better offensive takedown guys we have in the UFC DC. And if anyone is well equipped to speak to this, it is you. The opponent knows what's coming. At least to this point in the UFC, no one's been able to stop. He just has to keep him away. Because the moment this guy gets close enough to either grab a leg or make body contact, right. now you're in trouble. He has a knowledge and understanding of position from a lifetime of just all grappling, judo, wrestling, uh, sample. He does it all, and he has just so many ways to get you to the floor. This guy once told me that if you can get your leg, he's going to finish. Right. Because he's going to give you so many things to think about, you will not be able to process and keep up with him, and eventually you're on the mat. It's unbelievable to watch him apply that knowledge to the mixed martial arts fights. And as the wrestlers say, this is not a guy you want anywhere near your bracket. No, you don't want him in the bracket. Ladies and gentlemen, this is the main event of the evening. When the action begins, our referee in charge of the octagon, Eve Levin. And now, this is the moment UFC fans around the world have been waiting for. Live from the MGM Grand Garden Arena in Las Vegas. It's time! Five rounds in the UFC flyweight division. It's who does he first? Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 18 wins, four losses. He stands five feet six inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Presenting the former UFC featherweight champion, T.J. Dillashaw. And now introducing his opponent, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a mixed martial artist, holding a professional record of 30 wins, three losses, and one draw. He stands five feet three inches tall, weighing in at 125 pounds. Fighting out of Parkland, Washington, USA. Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson! Side control. 
Well, these are some excellent ground and pound strikes here, DC. There's an efficiency with which he operates in these situations. He knows exactly when to throw, exactly when to hold. And it's allowing him to really control the grappling aspect of the fight. There's a song there, right? Know when to hold him, know, know when, when to, to hold him. Yep, there you absolutely. Go. Johnson's got him in a crucifix. Gonna work from the top now. Well, there are a few things more fun to watch in mixed martial arts than these type of transitions and scrambles on the ground. High-level grappling can really be entertaining. Oh, he's got him in a crucifix now, DC. We've seen you go to this a couple times, no? This is one of my favorite techniques. I got Volkan Ozdemir here, and I just landed punch after punch after punch. They didn't have to be hard, but if you can land 30, 40 strikes in a row, the referee will have no choice but to finish the fight. Pretty good work with the ground and pound here by Johnson. He's putting him in exactly the positions he needs to be in right now. He's able to relax here. And he understands, being a veteran of so many fights, that as long as he's on top, he's winning. He feels like he's winning here. Oh, nice job using his strength there to posture up. We'll see what he can do now. He's going to start looking to land big shots from the top. Close guard. Oh, big combination of ground and pound strikes here, DC. This could be the beginning of the end. I mean, you gotta be very careful when you take these big ground and pound strikes. You need a controlled posture on the bottom. And if you're the top guy, the guy that's looking to the He got his foot on the hip, and now he's throwing up a triangle attempt. He's gonna try to move his left arm across to get pressure on the choke. Watch triangle, watch triangle. There he is, he's moving to the finishing position. Now watch he go parallel right next to his opponent. When it's time to finish, he has to go flat, chest to the mat. There it is, chest to the mat. And he's out. Well, he's staying pretty effective here, fighting off of his back. Nice strike landed there by the bottom by Dillashaw. Strong bottom work here, staying busy. And he's back up. Look at him drive his shin into his opponent's body with that body kick. And he lands a punch there. Pretty good connection by him. Great connection. He's in a great flow right now. Liver kick. 15 seconds to go. Big punch from the clinch. The horn sounds for the end of round one. Let's take a look back at some of the replays from that last one. Unbelievable to see these high-level competitors get in each other's face, tuck their chin, bite down on the mouth guard, and just let it all hang out over the course of five minutes. Here we are, early round two. He's got it going now. Nice connection there, DC. Another punch land. Kick to the body by Dillashaw. Pretty good right hand. Oh, caught him flush with the head kick there, DC. Beautiful setup to get his leg up there quickly before his opponent could react. Stuffs the takedown there. How good is his takedown defense? And both guys really throwing with authority. Wow, that right punch has been the money weapon for him tonight, and he landed it again there. If his opponent does not change something, he will continue to throw the strike until he makes it stop throwing. Continues to work out of that tie clinch. And that one was heavy. Oh, another big knee. He's mixing up his target. He's throwing kicks, he's throwing punches. Well, no surprise, he goes for the tape down there, unable to get the fight to the canvas. This is a testament to his opponent, his ability to see the shots coming, defend them, and make the fight happen where he wants to. Well, his corner was pretty urgent after round one. A little bit lackluster there in that opening round. He has certainly picked up the pace here, and as a result, he has taken control of this second round. And he engages in the single power tie. Mixes it up nicely in terms of staying heavy and also staying active. Dillashaw gets hit with a kick. That one appeared to land flush. 
Nice double leg takedown attempt there, and you gotta think that's something that's gonna give him confidence moving forward in this fight. A lot of confidence when it happens that easily. He took a shot, he got a takedown. What now will stop him from doing it over and over again? Well, not ideal to spend this much time on the bottom, but you can't fault him for his activity. Landing strikes here from the bottom. Nice work. Now he's gonna try to attack Kamor here. And this might just be a matter of time. Submits him with the arm bar. I mean, just steps ahead of the competition where you're playing checkers, he's playing chess in the ground fighting. And it showed tonight in this big submission victory. Right, let's take a look back at the replay as he gets it done by submission tonight, champ. I mean, you know, this guy has such a great submission game that you cannot lay in his guard. He's so skilled, he's so tricky, and he's so good at weaving a web that gets you lost in it that he made him pay for it tonight and got the submission victory. So there he is, your winner by submission. That is a finish they will likely be talking about for some time. Big win, major statement made to the rest of this division. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Eve Levine has called a stop to this contest at four minutes, 11 seconds of round number two. Declaring the winner by tap out, Demetrius Mighty Mouse Johnson. Well, the celebration is on in his corner and hard to blame these guys, sort of.